Hi, Stu here from Music Technology and in today's Pro Tools Quick Tips video I'm going to show you how you can use VCAs and groups to speed up your workflow in Pro Tools. So here you'll see in my mix window I have all my VCA tracks that we previously created, selected drums, percussion, bass, guitar, strings, keyboards and if I scroll along you'll see I've also got the vocals effects and at the end the master fader selected as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a group and you can use Control G on Windows or Command G if you're on a Mac like me to create a group and I'm going to call this Masters plus VCAs and I'm going to use the group ID up here and I'm going to go down to M to keep our naming convention that we've used before. I'm going to press enter. Now when you make a group in Pro Tools, it's automatically activated as you can see by the groups panel down here. At the moment I don't want it to be activated, so I'm just going to press M because I'm in groups focus mode as reflected by this A to Z up here to disable it. But I'm now going to use the shortcut to show just the tracks in that particular group. So I'm going to go Control and click on Master and VCAs. You can use Start on Windows to achieve the same thing. And you'll see this is significantly simplified in my mix window here, allowing you to speed up your workflow. Now, sometimes you want to get a specific element, say in the drum group, you might want to tweak a snare sound or in the vocals, you might want to tweak the main vocal. So a way of spilling that out is to add to this by using shift with that shortcut. So if we go down here again, and I, instead of pressing controls, press control shift, that start shift on windows and click on vocals, you'll see that it spills out individual vocal tracks, allowing you to tweak these. Now, once you've done that, you can hold down control shift again and click on the vocal group in the groups panel, and it will fold those back up again. And you can do that to multiple things at once. So let's also spell out the keyboards. So we've got vocals and keyboards spilled out here. Now once I've done that, I can quickly get back to just seeing my masters and VCAs, of course, by just holding down control and clicking on masters and VCAs, like so. This enables you to just concentrate on balancing the main elements of your mix first, and then going in and tweaking anything that needs tweaking at the end. And remember, you can also automate all these VCA faders as well. So if you found this quick tips useful today, hit the like button below, subscribe to our channel. We upload new videos every week. I've been Stu for Music Technology. Have an excellent day and I'll see you soon.